Welcome to this quick introduction to Compose Tasks in Spring Cloud Dataflow. I'm running the dashboard here for Spring Cloud Dataflow 1.2 and we are going to jump straight into it. So in the Tasks view, uh, you can build these new things called Compose Tasks. Now, I've got a number of task applications registered, so these aren't, they aren't used for building stream pipelines. These are task applications. These are applications you can run on demand. Uh, you'll see in the palette on here, I have a number registered. Uh, we'll go through what these do as I, as I build them. But these are the individual building blocks, and I could run them individually as one-off executions of a task application, but I want to build a composed task which orchestrates those, to achieve something uh, at a higher level. So here in the visual builder, like we have a visual builder for streams, we have one for composed task. I have a DSL view. Uh, the DSL is a little different to the ones we use for stream, but still pretty concise. You'll see the syntax as we start to build something here. I have a palette that shows me the building blocks I can use to build my uh, compose task, and then I have a canvas where I can do that building. So let's set to start. Um, suppose I have uh, an Oracle database. I want to pull that data into uh, how to do file system. I have a task for that, so I can just drag that onto the canvas. Now the graphs we're building here are a bit more complicated than they are for streams, which were very linear. And so there is a little more work you have to do joining these things up. You have to draw the lines at the moment. We're working on improving that. Uh, right, so this is the first one, extract DB to HDFS. And you'll see the DSL start to spring to life. It's like the stream one. If you edit the text of the DSL or the graph, they keep each other in step. That's not considered valid at the moment because it's got a connection there. So that is a valid composed task. It's a bit silly because it just does one thing and we could have run that one thing individually. So let's do some more of that. Suppose once I pulled that data into Hadoop, I want to do some work with Spark on it. Notice I'll drop it on the line and that will insert it in the flow. Saves you a bit of line drawing. So now you'll see the DSL is updated with this construct, which is what we use to mean do this, then this, then this. But something else we can do is run things in parallel. Let's suppose I want to load that data into Hawk at the same time as I'm doing the Spark analysis. So I can draw another link out of the extraction job. So when the extraction job finishes, it's going to run these two things in parallel. And you'll see I've got a valid composed task now, no error markers. And this is the syntax we use for running a pair of things in parallel. So the angle brackets and then this separates the things you want to do in parallel. Okay. But what I'm going to do now is, after I've finished running those two things at the same time, uh, I want to run three different things at the same time, just to show you we can do that. So I'm going to run a job that I know will fail. This is just to demonstrate how the error handling and transitions work. I'm going to produce a, a report on what's happened with that uh, analysis I ran earlier. And I'm also going to load that data into some analytics store for display on some dashboard. And when it, these three things finish, I want to consider that to be uh, the end of my compose task. So I've got these two things I want to do at the same time. Then I want to do three things at the same time. Um, how, what do I do here? I can't draw all these lines to join everything together. And that's where you need a synchronization node, which gives you a, a point of synchronization in that compose task like a checkpoint, you can say, right, I know at this point these two things are both finished, and then I want to run these three things. Whoops. You can create bend points in the lines if you wish, create prettier graphs. Uh, right, let's connect that to that, and then connect it up to that. So those three things are going to now run in parallel. And you'll see we're using similar constructs up in the DSL to achieve that. This one is going to fail, uh, and when it fails, I want to run a job that notifies the ops team. Um, and this is invalid now because I have two exit routes from I will fail. Which one do we take when I will fail finishes? Well, that's where you have to make one of them conditional. And so if I click the cog on the link, I can specify the exit status that should lead to this link being followed. So I'm going to say failed. And you'll see it switched to a dotted line and the word failed has appeared. And so if the 
I will fail job exits with a failed exit code will go to non ops. Any other exit code, it will just go straight to them. And you'll see it captured in the DSL like this. You see after the task name, there is a string exit code status and then an arrow saying you know, notify ops. And I could put more of these if there were other exit statuses that should lead to other tasks being run. But that's my completed composed task. We are going to grow the power of the DSL over time and what the, what you can build in here, but this is the kind of thing that works right now. So we're ready to go. So I'm going to build that as my post task. Jump over to definitions. You see it's there. I can get a reminder of my what my task looks like. But it's ready to launch. So let's do that now. Now you can limit uh, how many things can run in parallel. So uh, if you say I had 50 things that potentially could run in parallel from my definition, but I knew that was unreasonable, I might limit it down to um, 10. But here I know that I, most three things are going to run in parallel, so I'll just set it to three. So that's now running. If we jump over to executions, we can keep an eye on that. So it's currently running that first job that extracts the Oracle database to Hadoop. Give that a few seconds to run. That completed, we can see that took 10 seconds and had an exit status of completed. You see this will update showing error codes as well later on. And then it kicked off these two other jobs in parallel, just as we expected. So they're running now, we'll just let those finish. After those two finished, we saw we were running three more things, the uh, generation of the report, the loading of the analytics store, and the fail job. And the fail job was deliberately designed to fail, so you see we get feedback here that failed and exit code are failed. And remember, that was the string we put in the DSL to trigger execution of notify ops. So that all behaved as expected. You can see the overall job is now completed. It's run all the steps we expected. If I jump back to the jobs view, you can see I can drill into what happened if I'm looking at this sometime later. But I can see that this ran yeah, all the steps expected. So that's a quick introduction to Compose Tasks. Uh, have fun with it. Thank you for watching.